Our goal is to develop a vaccine uh, to prevent the development of cancer in individuals who have mutations in BRCA1 and 2. So this is taking advantage of the new revolution in immunotherapy in cancer and applying it now in the prevention setting. Uh, just like one um, might be able to use a, a vaccine to prevent an infectious disease, we want to develop a vaccine to prevent cancer from forming in individuals who are at very high risk of this happening. We think that if we can prevent cancer in the first place, um, it will be um, an, an amazing uh, uh, breakthrough. Perfect. Um, and what do you see as the major issue uh, that needs to be addressed in this particular field? Well, um, immune prevention is very difficult uh, in, in the setting of cancer. It's different than preventing infections because uh, one can target the infectious agent r rather readily, but cancer is um, much more difficult to target. So our uh, biggest challenge is identifying the, the best target that we can use um, to, um, to direct this vaccine against. And we have a number of candidates. Um, we have a large team looking at these, um, you know, d uh, identifying which is the best one. And in fact, um, we've, uh, the, the first human clinical trial of our um, leading um, candidate vaccine has begun at uh, the Abramson Cancer Center over the last few months. And we're very excited to um, see it, make sure that it's safe and see how um, potent it is in starting an immune response. And uh, if we can show those things, then we'll move to the next step. The Basser Center uh, has been transformative in this field, a uh, comprehensive bench to bedside to community center devoted to this particular problem of a mutation in one of two genes um, has never been attempted before. And, and we're already seeing the great um, success that can happen when there is such a comprehensive focus on one problem. We have uh, an annual symposium uh, where individuals from across the country and across our region gather at Penn, uh, more than 300 strong, to think about this problem for two days in all dimensions. And this, um, uh, this allows for collaborations, new thinking, um, and uh, is really unprecedented. And so there's extreme excitement about what this type of center can do to revolutionize care for individuals who have mutations in these two genes.